Hello everyone, it's me. Welcome, welcome back to Ultima, where today we are, uh, well, we're just kind of chill, honestly. I haven't got any huge plans for today, we're just kind of going to turn that down. So we got the Guilty Gear music, which will turn up a little, little, little itty bit a bit. There we go. Got that. We got our, our farming set up. I got cheese. I I finally realized I should buy cheese for the very, very mild buff it gives. And, um... That's about it. We're just going at it. We're just... It's a chill day today, you know? Ah, yes. Cheese. Exactly. Exactly. Let's go visit Prevalia. Because I want to check out this whole rat issue that's going on here. There it is. Where are we now? We're on the dock. I think the, uh, it's still this week's quest, which is a great because we've done all the ones I can realistically do right now, aside from joining in on a boss fight, which that's just whenever that ends up happening. But yeah, there are many a rat. What are you? Who are you? Amra. Okay. Come on now. There we go. Sometimes I wonder if there are people just sitting invisible, like, in the middle of town. That's why I'm bumping into them. It's a possibility, but I, I wouldn't know the details. What's this? Oh, Strange Lands, right. That's, um, that's like the battle thing, isn't it? Also, that's not quite in the corner. There we go. But, yeah, um... We're just gonna sort of roll around, see what's what. Apparently there are rats preparing to attack. Which, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look in the Outlands map, because apparently that's a thing. Oh, I don't know. I'm just going by what the, the, uh, the town crier's been on about. Which much is rat. Rat man. Rat man. Ah. Uh, fighter of the rat man. Ah. Uh. Champion of the Rat. He's a master of karate! <laughs> what am I on about? Uh, let's go this way. Oh yeah, Dagda, you might get a chuckle out of this. Uh, over here. There is... where is it? There it is. There's a bookworm! Which I think if we go in like this... Hang on, it's like... This way... Yeah, through here, go under, and technically, I don't know how you're meant to, to reach this bookworm, but like he lives in there, see, there he is. I, I, I don't know, I genuinely don't know how to get in there. I only figured out that there's this weird like nebula zone. He just kind of lives in the basement. My original character concept before you came Demon Dog. There you go. There you go. He lives in the basement now. That's where he ended up. Before you embraced your role as Demon Lord. Because that's what everyone kept calling you. And you were like, I just collect things. And they were like, but Demon Dragon. And now you're just Demon Lord Dragon. It's just like, well, this is what I intended, but I am also not against this outcome. So yeah, I don't know what entirely I'm going to do with all these rats. I just know they're here. And I wish to ruin their day. Yeah, there's just like a, 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 a actual shitload of rats out here. I, I don't, like, what... I don't know what the actual context is behind all this. There's just a lot of rats, okay? Oh, right, that reminds me. I've got to set up my loot bag, probably. So that goes in there. Set loot bag to there. Because last time I was playing, I died! And that means that resets. Huh. Not what I expected it to drop. What's this? An unidentified heart. Alright. Hmm. 
What I gotta figure out is what benefit there is to murdering all these rats, aside from it's kind of funny. R really, we should probably look for stronger rat. There, oh, there they are! Oh, wow, that's just right there, isn't it? Oh, dear. That may be a touch too many rats. That is, in fact, many rats. They prey at night, they stalk at night, they're the rats. I wonder if there's a... Oh, I guess the storm rats are the giant rats that make all of the rules. And they're getting into quite a bit of trouble. Oh, dear. All right. Oh, wow. Th Wait, how tough are you? Holy shit, I can't kill you. You're act. Whoa, you are way beyond my level right now. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. I should run. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I figured out how to check how difficult enemies are. That, th that thing is... I don't know that I can kill it, but I'm going to try to kill one and see what happens. Oh, I'm definitely going to die, though. But I have chivalry, so I might be able to kite this thing. Especially if I get um, one of my blood things going. Oh god. Yep, kite, kite. It doesn't have ranged attacks, thank god. So when I get low on health, I can just run away. There it goes again. What do you mean I must wait to perform another action? Why are my bandages going off? I put the script on. Yeah, there it goes. Jesus, I don't know what the fuck just happened. See, what we have here is exceptionally dangerous Rado. You bad with weapon. I know. You don't have to make fun of me for it. Oh god. Eep. Hey. Oi. Come here, you. Come here. Yeah, I figured out how to grab aggro is another thing. Ow. Thank you, missing. Hello, welcome to Ultima. We're, we're trying to murder a rado. No, look at me, bitch. God damn it. I gotta, I gotta wait till they heal. There we go. Alright, grab aggro. And we can do this. Back here. Oh, there's a time limit on that. Okay. That doesn't help. Bro, if you get this thing to reset its aggro, I swear to god. Stop running that way, it'll despawn. Fuck's sake. Bitch, stop running. Fuck's sake, bro. Ugh. 
Like, it actually does making this so much more difficult. Thank you. Gotta friggin' chase it down. Rats won the fight, yeah! They're fighting the wrong dude. I'm on you. Oh, gee. The bloody... Always the bloody disease. I need you to perish. I swear to God, if you come back and start annoying this thing again, I will actually end you, bro. Just sitting there. There we go. Give me that shit. What do we get off that for all our trouble? Looked like a mace. Unidentified mole. Neat. Alright. Anyways, that was fun, but killing those things takes way too long to be worth it. All I need to do is get more XP. Just, like, flatly. I'm eternally, like, short on actual skills and shit. Once I can up these to a decent amount, then we'll be able to start, like, wrecking the house a bit more actually be able to hold our own. A part of it is the gear, but also a part of that is having the bloody supply shelf, because otherwise it's such a hassle to keep track of. Which reminds me, how am I doing for money? Hang on. Take that off, because we'll warp. Um... Oh yeah, should we gamble? Gambling's always fun. No, 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 no. Not attack. So I just need to de-attack. Ah, here it is. Yeah, lottery ticket. Um, just cuz, really. It's literally just like a generic lottery. I'm not entirely sure why, it just is. Let's see, there's the, um... The bartender's down here. What, what do you play? Dealer? Yo, can I play? Prevalia, No Limit, Holden Poker. A buy ins 2500! Uh, can I make a cheaper game? Okay. Oh, I, I ain't rich enough for that. You can literally just play poker. Alright, let's get out of here. I need Blackjack. That's my game of choice. There we go. Alright, let's chuck these in the room, and then, uh, buy a couple things, then we'll go, um, brain. My brain, sorry, brain fire. Then we'll go, uh, dungeon farm and pop you two in there. In there. There you go. Uh, actually, exit out here. To, to house steward because I forgot to check my balance. How much cash do I actually have? 
274. An, an amount. A, a certain amount, to be fair. Not a ton. That does remind me, though. What is... Is anyone doing bosses right now? I don't think that's happening right now. Were they missing? Were they right? Was he partied? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, it looks like some bosses happened and some shit went down, so that's fun. Alright. Um... Yeah, let's head back to town. I want to buy some more bandages. Buy some more bandages. How much cheese do I have? Enough. Yeah, we're we'll by the cook. Why not? Excuse me, sir. May I have some cheese? Excellent. More cheese for me. Everyone love a cheese. Uh, the tailor should be in here somewhere. There you are. Bolt of cloth. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Easy bandages. Want those in there. Which does remind me, uh, I should be hunting for you, fellas. Because, boy, howdy, when I was playing the other day, uh, I de- There's someone invisible here. Anyway, I definitely got, uh, like, chased down by, like, three reds in a dungeon. They just kind of showed up and, and were like, you know, gang squad rolling in, and I had to get the fuck out of there. That was spicy. It was in here, actually. I don't think there's anyone else in here right now, though. Oh, I should have checked if this still has the, um... Yeah. While we kill this gremlin, I'm gonna check, uh, Outlands Dungeon Bonuses. Let's suppose Region Bonus Board, here we go. Yay, the wiki does have it. Does it? No. Double click to view server weekly, server weekly bonuses. Cause I, oh wait, if it's weekly then it hasn't changed yet. Yeah, because this place is more XP, which is 100% where I need to be at right now. I, I, I need, I gotta get that XP farming going. Ooh, the boss for the ocean. Neat. I don't know if I should have said that. Oh well. I don't think anyone's watching yet anyway. Well, I'll keep an eye on the um, general chat. Absolutely drone in on some bosses if that ends up happening. Also, there are there are definitely kobolds in here, but um I genuinely I don't know, they, they hit weirdly hard. The like kobolds? I didn't even wow, well, we hit two hundred followers? I didn't even notice until I glanced over right now. Nice. Damn, I should have done something special for that. Whoops. Oh well. Uh, 200 follower celebration later when I think of something to celebrate with. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Wow. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna go a bit deeper in here because there's enemies towards the end of this floor that are, like, particularly good for, uh, taking out for farming. Aegis Slime. That time I got reincarnated as an Aegis Slime. Um, now I'm curious. How am I doing on YouTube anyway? 90 subscribers there. Neat. Oh yeah, I don't know. Really, again, Ultima Online is just kind of an easy game to boot up and play when my brain's a little... Blah, 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 blah. It, it doesn't take much in the way of um, hyper-focus. No one's made a Kobold Isekai yet. That's because there aren't any good furry anime aside from um, Brand New Animal. 
There's just a severe lack of furry anime in the world. To be a lack of furry cartoons in the world, for that matter. Plenty of furry characters in things, but none that are explicit like that. So didn't you have a furry anime that actually has a demon dragon lord and everything? Technically Beastars? Fair point, that too. Yeah, Beastars and Brand New Animal Order too. These stars. Where the rabbit is is oh, hang on. Sorry, bro. There you go. You should be what are you doing? There you go. Hey Dora head over Kaiman's the only one in and he only has a lizard head. Yeah, that's the usual thing, is that they are just people but animal face. I have no why is everyone hanging out in this hallway? This is I do I don't know what's going on anymore. Okay. That was a little weird. Anyway, moving on. And that's why we're killing these dudes. Because they drop good loot and uh, pre still pretty easy to kill. Alright. That's gonna go short. Alright, have fun, Dagda. Thanks for tuning in. We're just gonna sit here and slap some slimes, which sounds vaguely dirty. Sort of like a gum gum pistol. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm still torn as to whether I should watch One Piece, because on the other hand. Like, I feel like it's worth watching un One Piece. On the other hand, I'd have to sit down and watch One Piece. You can see the dilemma. I don't know what that dude's doing, but he seems to be having a bad time. Plus I get the super move on all the easy to kill stuff. Why can't I get that when I've got like three blood apes on my ass? That also sounds dirty now that I think about it. You may ask, how's a blood ape different from a regular ape? Honest answer, couldn't tell ya. I, I genuinely no idea. Just got a blood rage. Basically, they can um, enter adamantium rage mode or something. Maybe that means they're Australian? Canadian? Australian Canadian? What am I on about? I don't know. Sayonara. Let's kill these imps. Alright. But like I said, this is this is very much chill mood stream. I'm not like here to do anything crazy. I just want to play some Ultima and chill out for a bit. And a key part of that is not worrying so much about the who, what, when of, uh, ooh, I've got to keep downtime, etc. It's like, nah, 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 nah. Nah. This is a stream to chill and farm in a dungeon. And say, hey chat, how y'all doing today? Because I'm doing good. I've been playing, I, I, I've, Realize that as well as Armored Core 6, am I about to die? No. As well as Armored Core 6, I've been playing a hell of a lot of Outer Worlds, just because it's really easy to boot up and play for a bit. And it is funny, because, like, uh, the more I play of it, it's, it's like, got exactly that New Vegas thing, where 
you'll find this like bizarrely well written log on a terminal somewhere. It's like really detailed and there's a lot of character and everything. But then you get to the resolution of the quest and it's like, well, there ain't much nuance here. You can either do it or you don't. And, and you sort of wonder, it's like, hmm, I wonder where the corners were cut. Where were there more plans for things? Where were different ideas had? Uh, I've still got a lot of Outer Worlds to play, not to mention the DLC as well. But in the end, I appreciate Outer Worlds because when you get right down to it, even the core shooting is still fun. It's like they took all the right lessons from Fallout 4 and actually made just like the basic like run around, shoot enemies, loot their bodies is pretty satisfying to do. And that goes a long way when you're just sitting down like it's like all right we're in what is essentially a dungeon like it's a facility but it might as well be a dungeon and you're just clearing it out room by room reading the terminal entries looking for loot and it's it's a chill time it's what i did enjoy about fallout 4. the issue is fallout 4 didn't embrace it well enough it kept wanting you to go back to base and like craft shit and lay like made the the whole weight management the thing and i'm just thinking that's that's not what i'm here to play the game for you know are you gonna are you gonna fight the ape i'll absolutely fight this ape yeah i guess they're just having a time like i i still want to play a version of fallout 4 that cuts out all the story and base building and is just like a shooter just give me fallout 4 as a pure action shooter no role play no base building no nothing and i'll have a better time playing it i tell you that right now i just realized i'm getting the thing telling me there's a red here somewhere oh they're gone oh whatever Maybe they ran off. Let's sing this rock parade. Oh goodness. Oh yawn. Oh dear. But yeah, how the world has been fun. I'd be half tempted to stream it if not for the fact that You'd get, you guys would only be seeing, like, a random spoilery section in the middle of the game. Which I know some people don't give a shit about spoilers, but I always do, so... I prefer to play things in full like that. I don't like doing, like, in the middle... In medias res, uh, stream starts. I won't lie, there's a part of me that's been tempted to just say fuck it and play Baldur's Gate 3. But then that saying part of me keeps going, but you wanted to play Baldur's Gate 2 first, and you wanted to play Pathfinder first. And it's like, oh, I'm not going to stream those, because those are even going to be even longer and less stream friendly. And you know. Like, here's the thing. Aeon's uh, whole mission statement has always been, we stream what we want to play. Right now, I just want to play some Ultima and, like, turn my brain off. Uh-oh. Uh... Not entirely sure what's going on over there. But I think we're better off staying out of that. I think there's a red cause in trouble, and I think we don't want to deal with that right now. Do we? No. No, we leave them as is. Uh, we, we don't, we don't got to deal with um, that red. They didn't chase us down, they didn't chase us down. Let's not. Let's not go looking for death. Oh shit. Here they come. Here comes the giant monkey. Form. Thank god, I thought he meant penis. Damn, these are some angry apes though. Like aggressive, aggressive apes right here. 
This is actually why they make good farming. Very easy to lure them where you need them to be. Oh my god. Especially if people keep luring the enemies over. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna get got because of this, aren't I? Well, if I take care of the safe, I should be fine. Uh, I should be fine. Now I should be fine. That person took care of the other issue. I wonder if I'll get the loot for this Chaos Footman. That'd be nice. Probably not, though. I don't think I did the majority of their health. Nope. Oh! Yeah, XP is XP. Can't be that upset. There's definitely someone murdering over here. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to check. Great, right, how's my shield doing? Ooh, I'm so close to 12! Damn, another 3% increase in damage resistance. That'd be, that'd be nice. Won't be anything crazy, but it'd be nice. What's going on? Nothing going on in the guild chat, it looks like. Like, on the one hand, I could probably, like, get a group together to farm better, but on the other hand, I kind of like having it just be a me stream, you know? I like the chill vibes, and group voice calls never quite have that the same way. There we go. Uh, there you are. You're hiding in that corner. Okay, well, that's good. Let's go kill a monkey. Come here, you. Oh, hello. It's always a surprise when someone just appears from the ether. What if they logged out of here? That seems like it'd be dangerous. I mean, you're, you're sitting there for five minutes after you log out. I guess I could have set a custom point in here. Maybe they like fighting the apes, too. Oh. The boom! Ooh, a shield. Neat. I was gonna take care of this this room of fun. This room's a pretty pretty cool room to clear out every time. Yikes! Okay, wow, just suddenly hit me like a truck. What are these mages? See, this is why I have the Reflect Spells skill. That shit can burn you down like nothing else. Oh my god. Oh man. And this, see, this is why I didn't play near today. I told you, my brain's in sleepy mode. Chill sleepy times. That's, that's about it. What else happened? Well, yeah, there was the whole Nintendo Direct thing um, earlier today. Which, uh, so for those not in the Discord, uh, F the F-Zero announcement I can't help but be disappointed by. And that's not to say anything bad about F-Zero 99. Like, it's cool. I might play it, I don't know, but I liked X and GX. I never got into SNES F-Zero, nor the Game Boy version. I tried. I didn't play them, I, wa I wanted to like them, but... They, they just didn't hit me the same as X did. Um, so I just never really got that into it. 
So sad as it is, I, I can't really get into the 99. Like, I, I can't have that hype for it, you know? It's cool, but eh, I guess it just ain't for me. Like, kill the ape. There we go. The Tomb Raider uh, 1 to 3 masters, though. Holy shit, am I looking forward to that. Not even necessarily that they're gonna do anything crazy, like, it's just a remaster. But it is both a, like, okay, these are finally gonna be playable without modding, it's not gonna have any troubleshooting, we can just pick it up and play it. It's gonna be an easy way to recommend them all. And it admittedly doubles in, as an excuse for me to stream them. I already streamed Tomb Raider 2. But I'll be frank, I'll do it again when that drops. A hundred percent, I'm doing that day one. I am, I am, I, I freaking love the original Tomb Raiders. They're just some of my favorite. Um, as far as that early 3D, uh, especially for cinematic platformers, they do such a good job. But I've gone on and on about how much I like the old Tomb Raiders before. That's nothing new. Really? Alright, I mean, you're only a fucking kill stealer. I said kill stealer. No, you're definitely gonna steal that. Oh, whatever. That's what I get for playing a Dexter, I guess. I don't get- I don't get super powerful until the very, very late game, apparently. Like, uh, that's why apparently Dexter is not recommended for a new player. Uh, just because it can, it's a very slow start. Like, if we were Tamer, technically I would be able to go um, deeper in these dungeons earlier. With a little less trouble. But, I mean, I still prefer Dexter right now. Especially since there's less management, it's it's even easier to just be like, okay, I'm at AFK farm for a bit. Whereas if I was Tamer, I'd have the um, pet management. If I was Mage, I'd have the uh, reagents for the spells and the wizard satchel and that. Dexter, I've mainly got the armor and weapons, which is something to still deal with, but in a different way. It's like a different thing I have to keep track of, and I, I prefer this. Personally, I, I prefer this over actual, um, the, the slightly more technical mage stuff, or tamer stuff. Especially not having to hunt down the, like, optimal tamer, like, things. I don't know. That just, it ain't for me. I don't know what to say. Uh, heal. Thank you. These Aegis Imps and their spells just hit like a truck. I don't know what's up with them. And in the time since we last checked, we already bumped up like 50% on that. See, this is why this is a good place to farm right now. I could go down to the second level, but it would be dangerous and, like, even worse if I did accidentally die. So that's why I'm sticking to the top floor right now. Plus, I think most people are actually on the low levels. So, I'm like, I'm already brushing up against other farmers up here. I go, I go deeper. It's actually gonna get worse, if anything. It's... Well, let's be fair here, there's probably more experienced people than there are new people in here. Reminds me, how are my skills right now? I think, yeah, everything's a cap. I know I do need to buy the, um, the swordsmanship skill scrolls at some point, but I think, hang on, let me check market. Outlands, market, but I'm pretty sure they're expensive. Because uh, I've gotten a few, but they've been for like non 
core skills have been for like tracking in that. Swords. Yeah, sword. No. Skill scroll. Uh. Sword. What? Scroll? Uh, why is it outland? Here we go. Skill mastery scroll. That's it. There we go. Uh, Spirit Spade, Provocate, to Wait, why is there no... Blacksmithy, Begging... What? Eh? Why can't I search for Swordsmanship? Hang on. Swordsmanship Skill Mastery Scroll. Why can't I just... Uh, Ultima Online? Uh, I'm not entirely... Yeah, here we go. Skill Master Outlands. Outlands Wiki. Skill Mastery Scroll. Yeah. Oh, it's an orb! Whoops. The orbs. Okay. Skill Mastery Orb. The scroll is for non-combat. So are these, like, generic? Oh, no, that's the skill cap. Epic skill. Skill cap for all schools. Skill mastery. Individual skill caps for a variety of non-PVP skills. Uh, independent of total skill cap. Okay, you need to use... Skill Masteries. I'm, I'm, I'm confused now, because I feel like, yeah, there should be... Or, the, or does this technically count as PvP? You weren't hoping for me to fight those, were you? I'm gonna make sure this guy's about to die. Come here. I got you, bro. You're clearly having some trouble here. Let me lend a hand. Here, I'll kill the Chaos Foot Mon so you don't die. You seem to be having some trouble there, buddy, so... Yeah, no. That, that's a little less kill-stealing, a little more. I'm pretty sure that dude was about to die. Um, yeah, hang on. Skill Mastery Scroll. Arms Law, Tracking... I guess it'd need to be the Epic, then. Which is probably gonna be expensive as shit. Yeah, basically. They do not raise the two new... Well, I know... Hang on, I think I want Chivalry at... Chivalry. Chivalry skill mastery scroll is... Yeah, bloody expensive. That's to be expected. Whoops. Sorry about that. What the hell is going on over here? Oh, I lie. That's another reason I'm glad I'm not playing Tamer. There is so much shit on screen. Like, I could not keep track of the animals. Oh. Let's clear out these apes. Apes together strong. Well, this ain't pain together. I always gotta laugh at the first movie of those. Because I, all I remember was the dude who played Rodney in Stargate Atlantis was, like, the neighbor who hated the monkey. And, I don't know, I just got a chuckle out of that. I don't know what that guy's doing these days. I'm curious. It was very much... To be fair, a lot of the actors in Atlantis were, like, really damn good for what they were doing. Hold on, hold on, hang on. IMDB Atlantis. I know the main guy uh, hasn't done much since. At least last I checked. Stargate Atlantis. 
There we go. Yeah, it was only five years. Oh. Uh, where's it go? Yeah, Joe Flanagan, Rachel Littrell, David Hewlett, and... Well, Jason Momoa, obviously, the one who really went everywhere. Thanks to Game of Thrones in particular. But I think he even mentioned that he only got that because he had Stargate, like, in his back pocket. A lot of the actors in SG-1 were... Oh, uh, absolutely. I'm talking Atlantis specifically. SG-1 had, like, big actors to start. Uh, whereas Atlantis didn't. Um, it had some who were in SG-1 here and there, but uh, Atlantis kind of had some quieter casting. Uh, you get that ape, I guess. Is that dude's still fighting over here? Probably. Um. Yeah, I mean, remember, that's why they had the... There's the, the bloody... It's the one, like, outtake that's, like, them in the ice. is like, I can't believe this. I'm stuck here with MacGyver and we can't figure out a way out of this situation? It's like, yeah. that That's still a classic. They, 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 that's, that's how you know they had fun on that show. Um. Oh, no, it looks like Joe Flanagan's still getting work. Uh. Oh, he was in General Hospital looks like for a while now oh that's good yeah it was quiet for a few years there but okay no he, he did get in some things more recently that's nice he, he was a good everyman very 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 strong everyman um which made him obviously very good lead uh Kayla went uh of course a lot of them basically just um Doing the, uh, the, 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 what's the daytime, the, like, live-action TV generic, um, long, long-form shit. Like, your, 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 your NCISs and that. You know, the staple shit. <laughs> David Hewlett's been in a lot. Yama del Toro is Cabinet of Curiosities, huh? And I mean, I again, I don't need to point out what Jason Momoa's been in. That guy, soap operas, uh, soap opera to me has like a specific connotation that doesn't quite apply to shit like NCIS or CSI or Law and Order or the more action or like, um, they're like 10 billion hospital, like I don't know, I guess they are technically hospital soaps, aren't they? Uh, maybe I'm just wrong on that one. Anyway. Um. Yeah, no. I actually met Jason Momoa at a convention down here once, because the, um, the whole Stargate, uh, crew, like, every, every actor in that, they were very much staples of the convention circuits. They loved showing up at those. I, I know they, I'm 99% sure they always just had a good time there. Um, yeah, no, I met Jason Momoa when it was still, like, Atlantis. He wasn't in Game of Thrones yet. The dude is friendly as hell. Like, just really, like, energetic, lovely guy. Super friendly. Um, and yeah, no, he just, his general attitude and everything, that's why he took off. He's just really damn good for what he does. But that's true of most of them, honestly. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's been any, like, there, I'm pretty sure they're all, like, like, still good people. Like, I've, I've never heard bad things about them. At the closest, no, not really, no. I, I really just, I know, um, my mum saw, um, uh... oh, I always forget his name, Teal'c. He, ha he had such a good speech at the Game Awards, too. I always forget his name. I know why. Uh, as soon as I see it, I'll be like, duh, of course. Christopher Judge, that's it. Yeah. Um, I know he had a big thing coming down to Australia once. My mum met him, and I think he was, like, half drunk for it. 
But apparently it was it was a wonderful time meeting him and obviously the dude's just like just a really, really nice guy. Yeah, I know, um that's like the one thing my mom could say is she's met basically every single person every actor or at least main actor in Stargate and Atlantis. Like, just over the course of all the years, uh, she's got autographs and pictures with pretty much all of them. I think she could say the same about, what was it, Supernatural? I think those are the two where she can say that, but, um, yeah. Because they're just very common visitors at conventions and things. They're all, I... I know for a fact several of them just straight up love coming down to Australia. Like, there have been some that have come multiple times and, and she's like, yeah, they just love it coming to visit. Like, it's a, it's a, it's basically a holiday for them to come that pays for itself with the convention. So, of course, like, you can't blame them. Of course they've come down and have a good time down here. Oh, yeah. No, it's just, I don't know. I like it when, when shit like that is like, oh yeah, there are actors in this big thing, but also they're just nice people. Like how Charles Martinet is just this really pleasant, like, kind, kind guy. Aha, I can't hear you, boah ha ha, then why, uh, okay, good for you, Roar, I guess. Uh, you know, you keep doing you, man. You keep doing you. I ended up talking about uh, shit like Stargate. I was gonna do RE4 make tonight, but uh, not feeling like streaming tonight. Fair. Eh, some nights you're just not up for it. Like, that's the thing. That's honestly why I'm liking Ultima right now. Like, because it was today, especially after Nia's, like, visual novel yesterday, where I'm just like, I don't know that I have the energy to do Nia again. So I can just boot up Ultima Online and just, just podcast it, you know? Finally had the energy to stream, so I'm streaming, but I want to see what you're up to when I see this, so I can't exactly unmute you, and you show up my screen and get us both banned. Why would I get banned? I mean, no, I got nothing. Why would I get banned? Listen, I may be a horny fucking robot, but that doesn't mean I'm sure on a Don stream when it's not, like, first party game. Remember, it's only not allowed on Twitch if it's modded. If it's... Otherwise, you're allowed to have as much sex as possible. I, I still don't understand Twitch's rules on all that stuff. At least we have this farming area to ourselves now. The other person who was here kind of left. Oh, we're so close to level three on that. Oh, I can taste it. But no ninja girls blowing each other's clothes off. That's too much. What game was that? <laughs> was, was that like Gal Gun or something? I don't know. I know they never let, let Hooney pop on, on, on uh, Twitch. Senran Kagura. Okay. I know. Here's the thing. When it comes down to it, the actual rules for Twitch regarding adult content are 100% advertisers being scared of that shit. Which is bullshit when they use sex appeal. That's a whole other issue. And that's... I mean, honest to God, that's part of the reason I make Aeon, uh, like, I'm, I'm making a point that Aeon is sex positive. Because that shit, it can get so, get so easy to, like, fall into the trap of it's not allowed in content, therefore it bad. But in reality, no, we're human, we're adults, this is not an issue. If you're not an adult, well, what are you doing here? Because this ain't a kid-friendly stream. 
If you're a teenager, well, keep quiet and don't, like, listen. We all looked up porn when we were teenagers. Just don't engage and we don't have an issue because it's the engagement where all of a sudden it's a legal issue and people get in trouble, including you. And that's really the big thing. It's like, no, I don't care what... Like, no one gives a shit what you're looking up. People give a shit what you're doing. And what you shouldn't be doing is engaging with it at that age. That's where the issue lies. It's okay when they do it, exactly. It's basically the rules most places had. I mean... Let's be fair, it, it's 100% still the rule. Because, as the internet is right now, no, you... Unless they set up an account, you cannot stop someone from looking up something not safe for work. But no, that is still legally, the answer is no, don't look that shit up. Soft non-ID 18 plus, but if you're, if you're stupid enough to confirm you're below that, get your ass banned. Yeah, exactly. Because at that point you're like, nope, well, now you've just made that an issue, get the fuck out. The instant you interact, you make it a real, tangible, valid issue. And that's why in the Discord, it's if you if you at any point hint that you're not 18, uh, and that in that fact, if you at any point say it or even imply it or anything, you get the fuck out of the adult section, or we ban you altogether. Because, well, no, we don't request the ID, but uh, <clears throat> some places will, and there is a non-zero chance we will have to in the future. So guess what? That's the rule. Oh no. It's it's such a complex fucking topic. Especially with the legal side of it. But what it comes down to is... No, you do not belong in that space. No, you should not be in that space. Am I gonna hunt people down? Probably not. But that doesn't mean I won't kick you the fuck out of the space you don't belong. And that's basically how it all goes. But that's a whole other can of worms. I'm getting on a tangent now. I don't know. Does anyone else ever run into- I think it was Jaden Animations who said the one time, it's like, why do kids on the internet feel the need to announce their age? Like, it's like, ha ah, I like your content. By the way, I'm 12. And you're like, um, thanks. I'm- 46 or something. It's like, what the, what the fuck do you even say to that? And I do... Uh, we've definitely covered our bases. Like I said, as it stands right now, we're not in a position where we're gonna be checking IDs. That may just come later. Especially as we grow. Um, Once Aeon hits the point where I can't call individual members like, oh, I know that person... That's probably when we start needing to implement some better checks for that stuff. But we're not at that point yet. Um, and as I've, I think I've said in other places, if we hit that point, that only means we've succeeded somehow. So, you know, that's a whole other thing. But, um, what's that saying? I, I, I do wonder sometimes about, like, how the culture of the internet has changed. Because, um, like, back in the day, it was the case of, no, don't let people know your age, like, by default. It's like the first thing you learn on the internet is, don't give out that information. Whereas these days, it's like the default. It's like, that desire to share. And... That's where it's like... So... Okay, we're going on Ferris going on a, another tangent, because let's be fair here, that's what I do when I play Ultima. Uh, how many of you in chat, or better yet, is anyone in chat right now not familiar with the concept of the Eternal September? I'm curious. 
Like, how, how many people watching this right now don't know what that is? And I find that extra relevant because Ultimo Online is a game that would have come out before that happened. Never heard of it? So, this is not something that's of my time. But the concept of it is something I, that applies to things I have interacted with. Um... Because this is, like, Usenet and default on, um, like, AOL forums and shit like that. The idea is that the Eternal September was the point at which AOL's... There's the money. Um, started giving out, like, internet beyond places like colleges. Because what it used to be was September would come around... A bunch of kid, a bunch of teens and young adults would get to college and gain access to the internet for the first time, and the for, and the boards and chat boards and forums would have been flooded with people unfamiliar with courtesy and customs and rules and things like that. Uh, then a few months would continue on, and they would the uh, those who couldn't like embrace it would leave. Those who could would learn and and grow and become a part of the community, and um, and uh, you know what things would return to normal. The idea of the Eternal September and how it applies is that once AOL started handing out those like free, like anyone can can get the trial CD, anyone can join in, anyone can get internet. Um, that influx of new users never ended. And all of a sudden, they, you could not, like, indoctrinate new people into the culture of Newsnet, Usenet faster than new people would come in who were not able, who were not familiar with the culture. And that's how it worked back then, and the, the general concept of an Eternal September now is any situation in which a, a the influx of new users overwhelms the existing uh, user base. You've got shit like Reddit, you've got YouTube, TikTok, things like that, where overwhelmingly now... The default state is that someone is a new user. And that's the case for most social media. There are no, like, cultures of those things because the, there's too many new people coming in. Every day, thousands and thousands of new users come onto these services. There is no room for a universal culture in those services anymore. Technically, there were two eternal Septembers, one being the initial spread, and then the second time was when the vast majority of the U.S. had access to good internet. Yes. Um, but these days, it is any point at which you go on any forum or any, like, user, like, any server, anything like that, if the amount of new users joining for the first time is near universally like um over the amount of existing like um essentially legacy users of that space online that's an eternal september that's why reddit went to shit that's why twitter went to shit that's why a lot of old forums went to shit and why some of the only places that survived were niche forums where that is not the case where the influx of new users remains low, and it still is mostly the legacy ones who are still using it. That's why a pub, like a public, like the official Discord server for Ark Knights, will always, all by default, have a different culture to any private server for this that is nonetheless a fan server for the same. And that is the concept of the Eternal September. Um, in the case of an MMO, uh, technically Final Fantasy XIV entered that. WoW had it for a while, and then it I think it's honestly died down now. Um, 
Whereas something like Ultima Online here, this is ver this is definitely not experiencing that. Like you can just look at it and tell this is mostly veteran players. This is not an overwhelming number of new people to the point where it's not like sustainable. Fact is, as new there are enough uh, veteran players compared to new players in this that the veterans felt like they could give me free stuff without even double checking. They were just happy to it to to how do I put it? The, because the influx of new players to Ultima Online is not overwhelming, they are able to introduce those new players to the culture and etiquette of the game uh, at a rate that means that um, it there is not going to be an overwhelming number of new ones for every legacy voice. And that is why, that is why a game like this is not in an eternal September. But when a community does hit that point, that's when they are in an eternal September. Um, uh, like Aeon, right now? Aeon is absolutely not eternal September. If we ever hit that point, we have massively succeeded as a VTubing group. That is like, that is insane levels of success right there. Because that means we're getting new viewers at a rate that is are uh, genuinely like we can support ourselves financially you know and that's that's an insane thing to reach for any uh content creator community um but that's that's where the other thing is that's where it's like if we hit that point we will have to start checking ids before we can give not safe for work roles in the discord We'll start having the crack down on uh, moderation and, and like, add, um, you know, you must be a part of the server for X days. Because that's when, if you want to keep the community a, a usable place, you need moderation. And you need those checks to keep that from being overwhelming. And the Eternal September is not a bad thing. YouTube could not exist without it. Uh, the Discord could not exist without it. You know, all these things. All the Twitch could not exist without it. It can be a wonderful thing. It can be fantastic to just constantly have new people, new voices. You never know what's around the corner. But you need to acknowledge it and the state change it causes in any community that it occurs in. I personally miss the days when the old forums dominated the web. I was absolutely on here during those times when I was around 10 to 12. Um, I was on forums. Uh, I may, I know, again, it was, you are not to say your age, but you could, you know, it was still like, yeah, I'm young. Like, people knew I wasn't 18. Like, because I, I would outright say, well, yeah, I wasn't alive when that game released. And, you know, that's not an issue. It's, it's like, I wasn't giving away that I was 11. I was just saying, yeah, I'm younger here. I, I'm, I haven't played things like Ultima. I wasn't around then. But that's not a bad thing, because then people could go, ah, oh, then you probably haven't heard of this thing and show you a cool old game you've never heard of. And that was fun, too. I made a lot of friends back then who weren't creepy about it. They were just... They were interested in showing off cool old stuff to a kid. It was a fun time. And that's absolutely why for Aeon, at least in the, you know, obviously in the, in the safer work channels, if someone comes in and is like, I'm young, like, I wouldn't want to kick them out. I'd want to make a space where they can, like, essentially learn internet etiquette without being at major risk. I want to I want to have a space for people who may if we end up that big who may genuinely be using that shit for the first time. I dread the day we have I'm 12 and what is this? I dread the day when we have I'm 12 and what is this and we can't have the community sit down and go, "Oh, this is awesome. You should check this out." Where we can't have them go, "Oh, download an emulator. Go play some um some old school games. Go some, play some PlayStation 1 games. 
and like introduce them to that shit. That to me is when it's a bad thing. But if it's, I'm 12 and I've never seen this game before, but it looks awesome. Wow, this game was like 10 years before I was born. That's, that's a good thing in my eyes. That means you're doing something right. I mean, hell. There's something to be said for people like Ordinary Sausage who can balance that shit. He's very much old school internet, but he's got something that can appeal to the younger crowd and like... There are kids sitting down to watch his videos with their parents, you know? Him ha being able to keep that balance is like... That's a, that's a wonderful thing. It's one of the reasons I really like appreciate his content. And it's something I personally strive for if I ever find, found myself in that position is because, well, I mean, for comparison, take something like Vine Source, right? Everyone in that umbrella, they're not really appealing to kids. Like, Vinny is, comes close with the corruptions and things, but if you look at the actual live streams themselves, not so much, and they don't really care to. I mean, shit, I'm not that much older than you and there's still moments where I had that, okay, youngin, let me take you back in the day. I mean, yeah, like, here's the thing. I'm having those moments nowadays. I'm running into people who are like, what the fuck is over 9,000? Uh, why, why, what is this all your base thing, you know? And I'm like, yeah, that that was the, the, the way of the internet back in 2007. That's just how things were. You'd make shitty memes like that. Or advice animals. Those, re the Reddit front page was not dominated by misinformation and weird clickbait. It was dominated by advice animals and atheism. Oh, that didn't meme introduced a lot of people to Zero Wing. Like, no, let's be honest, it'd be forgotten if not for the meme. That's the case for so many things. Like, let's be honest, Vocaloid got popular because of memes. Like, it was Ivan Polka and shit like that that really skyrocketed that. Because everyone went, what's this strange anime girl singing? Why does she sound like a robot? And then they'd look up more music and get the idea. And then we have Vocaloid as it is today, where they, where they are literally just, like, AI idols. That's just what Vocaloid is right now actually just massively ahead of the curve uh we should go drop off our loot let's go do that my first exposure to toho was people pose posting translated ios yeah i mean my first experience to toho was the um mirissa stole the precious thing that's one of my favorite franchises. I think it's fantastic just how community-driven it is. It's wonderful. Okay, one of these had loot in it, and I want to get that. There it is. Give me that shit. It's a good time, and I... And, you know, like I said, I couldn't be streaming at you right now as a VTuber if not for the fact that there are so many new things happening in places like YouTube and Twitch. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. I'm saying that if if I were given the option, I would like for Aeon and my own community in general to be a space that's closer to old school internet than new school. And I can say that because I'm in a position where I don't have to worry about actually like making money off of this. And I can take the time to just be like, you know what? If I can make, like, I don't know, a hundred people's lives more interesting via my community and streams, uh, that's a win. That already means that I've, I've massively succeeded at what I'm doing here. Oh. Looks like people are having a bit of an adventure there. Alright, let's drop off our loot. Boom, 10k, baby. Another week's rent. Paid for. Hell yeah. How are we sitting on this? Hey, 12 upgrade points. Let's go. How about this one? 
Another 12, baby. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Another 2%. Every percent matters. Let's drop our shit off. Damn, we got a lot of loot out there. But yeah, like most of my first experience with um, Vocaloid and Toho was through Osu. Paris, give me catch luck for these bloody Pokemon. Snap, snap. Skibbity bobbity boo. Your Pokemon have been blessed so long as you press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, constantly while the ball is rocking. There you go. Catch luck given. We'll see how it helps. Remember, there's only so much that stuff can do, but the enchantment's there for you. Glad the old F meme of having someone with a horny title or thumbnail actually being something completely different with genuinely awesome music still holds up. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I literally did that with the Virgil status. You know, how I have the button that can just be like, you know. I mean, that's why that whole meme exists and why I bothered making that little transition. I want you to know it worked. Nice. Sweet. My magic powers are working. Hell yeah. I knew I, I knew I was working on those things for a reason. Yeah, so we can put all this away. The robot blessing is active. Yep. I wonder if Vicky programmed that into me. What with the whole angel thing? You, you never know. There might there might be some correlation there. Uh, you go in there. Not too far. You go in there. You go in there. There we go. I've got to eat the cheese. And I love it when video games make you say weird shit like that. Aw oh, man, I forgot to eat my cheese. And there we go. Nice. Alright. Um, that's the, uh, that's what I need to do while I'm here. Oops. Uh, these. Because I have been, um... Collecting these. For use. A chop. Hooray! More arcane essence. Always handy. Oh good, the classic still works in the restricted general. Oh god. Well, what have you posted now? Ah, uh, that should be good. I'll check that out later. A classic? Mm-hmm. Alright. Alright, um... Well, we did a lot of farming, but I kind of want to just keep farming. I'll be honest, I was having a good time. Let's just go back. Boop. Uh, sitting here talking about old school internet. This is, see, this is the shit we get on about. Uh-huh. Might be uh, uh, okay. Okay. Looks like some shit's going on with some of the boss kills. Move! Move! I think the game's lagging a touch here. Okay. That was weird. Uh, what am I on about? I don't know, but the game's lagging like mad right now. Wow. Server's having some hiccups here. Yikes. You can tell it's the server too, because like, it's only the actions that are getting fucked up right now. 
It's not like we're jumping forward when it gets through to me. There's some laggy shit. Hang on. I think I can get net stats. Yeah, there was some shit going on there. Oh, war. A little weird. There we go. I think it's caught back up again. What a spicy little moment of lag that was. Alright. That should be... There it is. Shortcut. I say shortcut. I'm not entirely sure if it's a shortcut or just another path to take, but it works. Ah, oh dear. Oh, no. Some days I sit down and think about, like, why am I VTubing? Why am I streaming? Because, like, let's be fair, it's, you know, it's not like I'm successful here, right? Like, I, at least as far as content creating goes. And yet, I got y'all chatting in chat. I know people are enjoying these videos and VODs. And in the end, that is why I'm here. I just like, ma I like making it, and knowing that there is literally anyone out there enjoying it is basically all I need out of this. Like, I've, I've said before, I'd be making these for nobody, so I consider it a success that literally anyone is tuning in to watch. Which, take that as you will for, like, measures of success actual realistic goals and blah 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 for things like this but i don't know i i i enjoy it and i i like where we're at right now i'm having a good time i'm having fun playing ultima and chatting with y'all shooting the shit and like that's that's really it when you get right down to it there's no point chasing like some hypothetical better state of being as much as my brain will like to yell at me and say you're not good enough what a waste of time wow you're making no progress look at you you're failing you're failing ferris what is it with you and failure i can always just slap it back and say hey guess what bitch my measure of success isn't isn't that high it's realistic because success on shit like content creating is whatever you make it to be. It's got nothing to do with making a living or making a certain amount. Just about making shit you like and having a good time while doing it. Supporting friends, helping them out. Uh, here's the thing, I... Hmm. Uh, hang on. Considering how much I should say outside of private. Um... And, and for those who do know, I will say no, it's not just the person you may think of either. There, there are multiple layers to this. Uh, I know a good way to phrase this. That is, that is uh, as broad as I actually intend it to mean. And that's that I, I know several other people around, um, in Aeon, out of Aeon, all over the place, who have that different l level of what they would constitute success at stuff like this. I mean, how some of them, for some of them, it is a lot bigger. For some of them, it's just above what they're at right now. For some of them, they've already, they may have already reached it themselves, just like I have here. And then it's the question of, well, what's next? And for me, what it comes down to is what's next is I can, I keep doing what I'm doing. And if I can help make Aeon a space for them to continue chasing their own, like, content creator goals and for new people to come in and like progress their own for people who have always wanted to but felt unsure because they felt like they they had too high of a tier for success there are just so many different ways it can go about it and in general i just want to make aeon a better space for everyone under that umbrella like, a space where people can come in- there's a red in here, that's concerning. Uh, hmm. There's a red in here and it's laggy as shit, that's extra concerning. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. Being able to just jump in, shoot shit on Ultima Online, and go and help uh, improve the Aeon Discord. Or help someone figure out a good way to, like, get VODs together and, and uploaded. That's, that's the shit I'm going- Why is it so laggy right now? Holy shit. Like, I'm trying not to dwell on it, but Jesus Christ, this is- This is painful right now. Like, every time I stop moving, I'm not, like, unclicking the mouse. That's it, like, lagging and having to play catch-up. Yeah, I mean, you can see there how, how it's... It's cutting to zero a lot of the time here. And then nothing- yeah, I, I think there's something a little fucky right now. Maybe we call it for Ultima Online soon. Maybe this has been a, a good time. Raw streaming, right? Maybe I'd send y'all over to Raw. We'll finish off these Blood Apes and see how it goes. If it improves, we'll keep going. Otherwise, it may be uh, letting the lag dictate some things. Ah, dear. Uh, honestly, I can't even tell anymore. Nope, there it goes again. Yeah, okay, maybe we, maybe we leave this as is. Maybe uh, we finish up these blood apes and send y'all over the raw. We got Twitch up here. Uh, if we're finishing up, I want a better song. Give me like a good finisher here. I need something chill. No, what I want then is not the death I deserve, Yoli. That's the opposite of chill. We're gonna we're gonna kick off. Where is it? There it is. Alright, let's get out of here. Welcome to playing from Australia. You scum Lord Lord Pigs. Hang on, <laughs> what to say this in chat. But I, I am playing from Australia. Oops. But I am playing from Australia. From Australia. Hang on, I'm gonna bring up Guild Chat for this one because it's funny. Oh, so I accidentally activated the mining. I guess it means I'm not the only one having lag issues, so I guess that only confirms it. On the first great day, a great lag plate descended on Avalon. Avedon. Yeah, alright, we're in lag mode, let's let's call it here. And it was Gucci. Oh my goodness. Ain't lag a hoot. <laughs> alright, let's get out of here. Uh the fuck? Wait, what the fuck just happened? The fuck? Apparently there's some murder going on in Prevalia right now. <laughs> this thing you guys <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, please let me teleport. Oh my god! Oh wow, it's even worse in here. I'm leaving. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. Alright. We can log out safely now. Jesus Christ. That was something. Well, that was a laggy end to the stream. Alright. Y'all gonna say hi over the roar. 
Thank you everyone for tuning in to this much more chill stream. Ah, uh, it's a shame, but I feel like it's a good length regardless. I didn't, like I said, if I had the energy, I'd be playing near. I didn't, so it, cutting it short isn't even a big deal. But yeah, thank you everyone who tuned in. Thank you to those watching the VOD, which I'm going to shout out in particular because the Ultima VODs have been doing really well and, like, I really appreciate it. Thank you all. And, um, yeah, you know, same as always, Twitch for the live shows, YouTube for the, uh, VODs, Discord for the community. Y'all take care.